Well, actually, we have right now registered uh, close to 5,000 space ambassadors. And uh, they will go out and they'll seek opportunities in schools and universities uh, to set up presentations and where they can speak to as large a group as possible and uh, pass this information along and try to inspire some of the youth around the planet to become our leaders in space down their life. You know, this is not only an information educational process, but it's uh, what can we do to create some synergy between student bodies and groups around the planet uh, to make this more effective. And uh, we're actually doing that. In fact, we just got another new sponsor uh, yesterday. Uh, is besides Virgin Galactic, we have uh, Aurora Aerospace, Zero-G, NASTAR Center. We now have uh, Kepler Space University. Uh, and uh, we're actually going to be shooting a video here in June uh, to add to the Space Ambassador website that'll be somewhat of an inspirational video with uh, a number of very uh, popular and very uh, uh, high-profile people, and uh, all of which are very excited about doing this program as well. So the sky's really not the limit. Whatever we can do, we're looking at trying to get out to a million-plus students over the course of the year. And uh, at the end of the uh, conference next year, uh, the top 10 space ambassadors uh, will have to do their presentations in Washington, D.C., in front of a uh, audience as well as uh, judges. And uh, we'll actually going to make flight assignments for the space ambassadors uh, that they will participate in and research and report back to the student bodies and the NSS, etc. Uh, one of which is being assigned a seat on Spaceship Two to go into uh, low Earth or not low Earth orbit, but uh, ballistic uh, uh, space transportation, suborbital space transportation. So there's there's a lot out there, and there's a lot more we're going to create. So there's a prize seat awaiting uh, 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 the winner of uh, next year's competition. Well, not so much the winner, but the one person that has proven that they've done the most that they can possibly do and the best job they can possibly do. And this is uh, part of their uh, duty, so to speak, is once they've proven that they've done the best, the absolute best job, then their continued research is to go up on Spaceship Two and report back to the rest of us. We're trying to uh, educate the public and uh, educate our youth across the planet uh, to make a difference for all of us. And uh, if we don't create these leaders, we'll never get there. So uh, now's the time, and uh, the old adage, if somebody else will do it, just doesn't work. Uh, we have to step up to the plate, and we have to make it happen. So that's what we're doing, is we're trying to uh, uh, do that inspirational speech uh, to spark that interest in young people that, hey, I want to be a part of this. This is pretty cool. If somebody wants to join the Space Ambassadors program, how do they go about that? You can go online and register as a Space Ambassador. Uh, it's uh, www.spaceambassadors.com. And uh, everything's fairly self-explanatory, and uh, there's a lot of research tools there and a lot of information as well to use to put together a presentation. Uh, and that's part of it is uh, the creativity of each Space Ambassador of how they want to present their program. So it's uh, pretty much a one-of-a-kind program so far, and we're hoping to see more and more like it.